Okay, lunges. So we have that back heel popped high. We're gonna go straight down and up, not leaning forward. If you're leaning forward while holding on to something, just move forward a bit. And then if you feel comfortable, hands off. We're going straight down and up. We wanna tuck those hips under. Think a nice long vertical spine, a little contraction in our core. And we move like an elevator. It only goes one way, up and down, not forward and back. That front knee is behind the toes. And we switch sides, we go through this again. We stack up hips, chest, shoulders, head, all in one straight line. We have that front knee behind the toes and that back heel popped high. And of course, we are breathing. Lunge variations. We're gonna take a big step back and then we're gonna pop that leg up, driving that knee up to the chest. Again, we have that nice vertical spine, that front knee behind the toes at all times. And we're really giving a nice squeeze to the glutes when we stand up and a little contraction in those abdominals. Nice and gentle, no slamming down of that foot. And then we're gonna find our balance and pulse. Lifting tall, feel like you are growing two inches taller, and then we'll switch sides. Woo, we might tip over sometimes, that's okay. Trick here, you can always widen your base, right? So instead of having your left leg almost in a direct line behind your right, we never really want that, step out a little wider, and that's gonna help balance. In addition, drawing those abs in, standing tall. Okay, continuing with some more variations. This is just a straightforward alternating lunge. All those same rules as before apply. If you have weights, you can add an overhead press or you can hold those weights at your side for extra weight onto your body. Or we can add some alternating bicep curls. Again, keeping that spine tall, keeping those shoulders back. We can do some lateral raises, lifting up to shoulder height. 